solve the following inequalities, give the solution as an inequality, graph the solution set on a number line. So here we have some absolute value inequalities that involve the greater than symbol. So if we have absolute value of x is greater than n, that implies that, at, that x is less than negative n or x is greater than n. So here we have the absolute value of x plus 3 is greater than 5. This implies that x plus 3 is less than negative 5 or x plus 3 is greater than 5. So subtracting 3 on both inequalities yields x is less than negative 8 or x is greater than 2. So there's the solution as an inequality. It's a compound inequality. Now on the number line, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Let's see, here's negative 10. There's positive 10. So x is less than negative 8. I would put a parenthesis at negative 8 opening to the left, and I would shade to the left. Or x is greater than 2, I would have put a parenthesis at 2, open to the right, and shade to the right. The absolute value of x minus 2 plus 4 is greater than or equal to 9. First thing I'm going to do is isolate the absolute value. So I'll subtract 4 from both sides and the absolute value of x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 5. Now I'm going to break this up as a compound inequality. x minus 2 is less than or equal to negative 5, or x minus 2 is greater than or equal to positive 5. Adding 2 to both sides of each inequality, x is less than or equal to negative 3, or x is greater than or equal to 7. So there's the compound inequality solution. Number line, negative 5 on the x-axis, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's 10. X is less than or equal to negative 3. I would put a bracket at negative 3, opening to the left, and shading to the left. Or X is greater than or equal to 7. I would put a bracket at 7, opening to the right, and shading to the right.